I should not feel shy about asking a durian seller, can I shake your durian? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> you can shake his durians. You want to look for a stem that is taut, okay. Okay, it's rigid, uh, it is moist. If you scrape it, you can still see oh, green. Oh, okay. So we can tell the durian seller I can fiddle with your stem? Can, <laughs> can. just scrape up. He has to let you see. He has this, to, uh, right? He has to let you okay. see, yes. Old durian right, will look like this. Ah, okay. okay. That's see, an obvious yeah, no-no it's, already. It's very dry. Yes. Yeah. something that is not so small, not too small and not too big. When the durian is too big, right, sometimes it drops not because it is ripe, it's because it's too heavy. I so when it's too see. heavy, if okay. the wind blows or if it rains, yeah, it, it falls unnaturally. So big doesn't necessarily mean you get the most flesh and the most seeds, yes, right? Yes, that's right. Okay. For Mao Shawang, 2 kg plus minus is ideal. Right. Yeah. 2 kilos. Okay, two kilos. Yes. got it. Okay, number two. You want to choose something that is round, okay? okay. Uh, not those odd shaped type, uh, pretty round, so, so that you get flesh in all compartments. Ah, yeah, okay. so you get the most value for your money. You want to check out for visible worm holes. Uh, okay. if, it, if, the, if a bit of worm hole, right, sometimes the, uh, the worm didn't enter the chambers, then it's fine. I do have some customers who don't mind having a worm hole. They will just eat the other compartments that is not infested by right. worms. Because usually those uh, urines that is infected by worms, usually is a sign that it's it is It's a good right. durian, yeah, exactly. Yes, it's true, yes. <laughs> then, uh, also you want to check out for visible cracks along the durian, especially if it cracks horizontally. If it cracks vertically, if it's a very hairline crack, right, then it's a pretty normal crack. You give it a little bit of shake, you should feel some movement within the fruit itself. Okay. This will indicate uh, ripeness. A totally unripe durian right, has no sound on it when you shake. One of the main characteristics of Mao Shan Wang is the star at the bottom. A lot of durians by itself has a star. I can show you, this is a D30. Okay. It sort of has a star if you look closely enough. Sort of, but not, yeah. as, not, not as, as visible, visible or not as unique okay. as that star. Yes. Yeah. All right. So for the uninitiated, sometimes right, they can be easily duped into buying a durian that is not Mao San Wang. Okay. That is why actually most customers choose their durian sellers instead of choosing durian. Usually when we do a knock, uh, we knock on the durian is to actually listen to a sound, a hollow sound. This is an indication that this is a, a, a ripe durian. Right. Yep. We open this, huh? This is a Mao Shan Wang, right? Yep. Oh, that looks beautiful. Yep. You can, yes. you can oh. tell from the stem here, it's not too wet. Yeah. So that's important to look when, when a durian seller opens it for you. Yes. This cannot be too wet. Yep, that's right. And too moist looking, right? Yes, that's yep. right. So maybe you take off your gloves. Okay, you can press onto the flesh. Yeah. Oh! Press, press, yeah. Oh, that is a good durian. Yep. Mm. It's so creamy. So this is a pretty bad durian. When we open this right straight away, most customers will reject this. Oh, look at that. Yeah. So oh. it's mushy, it's yes. watery. You can see the stem. This is really wet and soggy. So not just the stem, but rather the even the outside part of the husk is also starting to turn a bit soggy. Right. The flesh is obviously mushy. Right. So uh, this is an obvious case that this durian is either is old uh, or you get smashed up quite badly okay. along the journey. Yeah. So if you could leave us with the best tip of it all, what would that tip be? Time your purchase properly. Okay. Usually the good time is when the price is the lowest. Oh really? Yes, because that's when the harvest is at its, at its peak. So there, you'll be spoiled for choice. There will be plenty of durians to choose from. And that's yeah. a tip for all of us durian lovers out there. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much.